Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the nature of Hadoop that is fault tolerant. We have always heard about the terminology called fault tolerant and how Hadoop play an important role for the fault tolerance. So let's try to understand what is fault tolerant first. Fault tolerant means, let's say you have one data available in one of the Hadoop data nodes and that data goes missing or that data got corrupted because of certain hardware failure or software failure. So how are you going to recover that data? Whether that data will not be available anytime or is there any chances that we can get back that data and how it is happening in the Hadoop world. As we know that Hadoop is a fault tolerant, still since it is a fault tolerant, we can recover our data by using the technology we called it as a replication. Let's try to understand this on my screen. Before I go to my screen, if we are looking for Spark and Hadoop training, you can reach out to me and my channel is there where you have a lot of free contents are available. You can also learn from my channel. Please do like subscribe and share this channel. And if you have any suggestions, any queries, you can put it into the comment section. Definitely I'll be creating more video based on that. If you like this video, you can share it with your friends. We know that Hadoop works in the master slave architecture. So on the top, we will have our name node and below that we will have our data nodes. So uh, what I'm doing, this is my rack. Okay. And in that rack, my data nodes will be stored. So let's assume that this is my data node one. This is my data node one. And this is my data node two. We can have a multiple data nodes also. Assuming this is my rack two setup where I have my data node one or let's keep give the name data node 3 because data node 1 we already have this is data node 4 and this is data node 5 now what will happen this data node are basically stored your number of block okay so this is block 1 this is block 2 this is block 3 and we know that Hadoop store the block size of 128 MB so Every block of the Hadoop will be of size 128 MB. Now, let's assume that you are going to store one file of size 256 MB. So obviously it is going to consume your two block. Now this is my block one, which got filled up. This is my block two. Okay, now here is a problem. Let's say this data node one got corrupted because of certain failure. Basically internally, these are the hard drive only. So there is a chances that your hard drive can be corrupted because of hardware failure. What will happen? All the data which is available in this data node one will be corrupted and you will not able to access this data. And again, your file will be gone. Now what will happen? Your Hadoop, basically your HDFS have the features we called it as a replication. By default, HDFS store three replicas. So whenever you are storing any file into the data node, a three replicas will be created. So this is your first replica, which is your original file. Then your second replica will be created here. Okay. So this is your data node two, which is also consuming two block because our file size is of 256 MB. And again, let's say I have a third data node here but it will not consume or it will not store the third replica into this rack. It will store the third into another rack. I will tell you about the reason. So this is my first copy. This is my second copy and my third copy will go into the another rack because there is a chances that whole rack can be go down because of your certain issues. If this whole rack goes down and you have all of your copies available in the same rack, you will not be able to access your data. So to recover our data, what we will do first copy and second copy, we will keep it into the first rack. 
but third copy we will try to keep it into the nearby rack and this algorithm we call it as a rack awareness algorithm so as per the rack awareness algorithm try to keep at least one copy outside your rack so that if whole rack goes missing or something went wrong still we can recover your data from the third copy which is available in the next rack again when you are storing your data into the data node and if the data nodes are very far from each other let's say rack 1 and rack 2 are very far from each other so obviously the network bandwidth also consume so it will always try to store a data into the nearby rack only but in the next rack not in the same rack data nodes i hope this is clear if you have any questions queries anything please put it into the comment sections you can share this video on your linkedin profile also please do like subscribe and share this channel if you have anything and you are looking for how to start training you can reach out to me thank you bye bye see you again with the next video